Hello and welcome to mail time. Ma 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 mail time. Just. Just mail time. It's not monthly anymore. Nope. I don't know if that means we're doing it more or less frequently. I want this to be less frequently, I hope. But also the way you guys send stuff, it might be more frequently. Who knows? The point is, yeah. we decided it, it, it hasn't been monthly for the past long time, so it's not, it's, it's actually just not monthly now, it's just, it's, it's mail time. Hey look, it's the mail! We're gonna get so party lit. Oh, it, that was, before that said that, there we go. There we go. There, party lit candle. Somebody sent us their blue apron, which I thought was great. Did they? <laughs> yep, is, so. Is that actually blue apron, do you think, in there, or is they just using the box? I said, I hope it is. Do you is. think this is actually candles? I, <laughs> I hope this is nothing but scented and unscented candles. I... I will smell every single one of them to find out. I hope not. Uh, we do have our stacks of smalls. This is such nice. a lovely little mailer from Aren't the USPS. This one is from the Royal Mail, but it is also to Durler. Dr. Lur. Yeah. Durler. They did ask me at the at the thing, who is Durler? And I'm kind of like, um, <laughs> can't can't say for sure. Oh, that one, that worked. It just ripped out of my hand. Well, oh, sweet. It's an envelope stronger than you are. Uh, yeah, wow. What if I just... Is there actually... Oh, there is a... Okay. I definitely thought that this padded Stiff. this padded mailer was for just this note. Ah. But no, there is actually. It says, Dear Dr. Lur, a present for Ben. Oh. A Disney Parks exclusive Kingdom Hearts Mickey pin. Thanks for all the great content from Mike and Kazzy in Twitch. Check it out. Oh, wow. It's very black. He's the ultimate power in the universe. <laughs> I think. I, ha I haven't played the game. I'm sure Ben will love that. Did Walt just hand over control of the Disney Empire to Mickey specifically? Like just when he's like, I'm dying and you can be CEO, but he runs all of it. Like a wealthy person leaving their inheritance to their cat? Yeah, and that's, and, and therefore that's why, wow, this, what is going on? I'm distracted for what's going on, I apologize. Did you throw away paper or plastic? Uh, that was a, a the, the, the USPS papers, or er, Envelopes, I believe, are garbage. Oh, okay. Aren't they? Or are they filled with paper? Uh, they're filled with some sort of cellulose. So, I guess I'll be plastics. Alright. It's important to know in the relationship which one of you is paper and which one of you is plastic. This is from The Tea Post. From Fortnum and Mason. Fortnum and Mason? Yo! I like tea. Do you? Yeah. And Fortnum's is great. Oh, great. Well, uh... They're, they're terribly British, you understand. A tiny, thin box. Ooh. Time for tea. Oh, ho, ho. it's time for tea. What is in here? There's two oh, different. Well, there's... Oh, this says hello, and then there's that looks like two demure sachets of Fortnum and Mason's tea. So wait, there's an envelope and a note. Okay. What? Well, okay. These a these are stuck into the box. We have here Royal Blend. It's Assam and Ceylon. Is this a subscription service? It sure is. Oh my God. Well, even if it's just one, that's fine. Like. And these are jasmine dragon pearls. That is a light tea, but appropriate all day. They have they have the notes for how strong the tea is and what time of day you should enjoy it. I want the royal blend. It's full bodied and malty. I want the dragon pearls because they brew in about three minutes. <laughs> Fortnum and Masons. Dear Doctor's Lure, hope everyone is doing fine over there. Since you're probably opening a bunch of coffee, here's something different. Enjoy. From Arconic Energy. Thank you, Arconic Energy. By appointment to the Queen. Oh. Yes. Fancy. And the Prince of Wales. Oh, uh, that's that's good too. Look, that, say, I'll say this for good. Charles. He's got good taste. Wait, he just drinks the same tea his mom drinks. <laughs> He's got to get out there and experiment more. There's like a line of very fancy tea stuff, like marmalades and biscuits okay. and things, and it's a company that. Charles set up just to make very, very good... Just high quality high stuff quality, he would enjoy. Yes. And all the profits go to charity. That's amazing. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> he, he doesn't need the money. No, he doesn't. He's going right. to be king. Yes, for at least five minutes. Yeah, at least five minutes. Well, thank you for that. I'm, I'm excited for tea. What is this? What the... What is this? What is this? That's... A, I see what it says. I just don't know what it is. Burger tokens? Oh, what? Key for, it's a Keyforge upgrade kit from Burger Tokens. Oh. They make nicer, oh, these are nicer Keyforge tokens. Oh, I see. You stick them, ah, I have bad news. 
<laughs> so the instructions are to attach to a penny and right. press firmly around all edges. I see one flaw in this plan. What if you live in a country that has abolished the penny? And we don't want to spend these on nickels. Everyone has a jar of pennies somewhere at home, I'm sure. Do you? Somewhere? Almost everyone has a jar of pennies. I thought I did. Do you? No. No? No. Maybe I don't. Actually, I don't. This is still really cool. This is, these are really great. Are they? They're really oh, they're, nice. They're, they're yeah, rounded. Yeah, they're, they're, ra they're rounded. They're, they're like, they're like uh, bubble stickers. Oh, like that's the old nice. Ca do you remember sticker trading? I didn't yes. do it, but I remember the books. So these are like, the, these are like puffy stickers. I don't think it's coming across on camera, but they have, they have rays. They're in relief? Yeah. Yes. And there's no note, so I can only assume this is from PM Avers. Sure. Who sent us all the other Keyforge stuff. I've got plastics. Cool. These are these are really cool. Oh, that's why they're called burger tokens, because it it looks like a... Uh, you put them on either side put of the Put them on either side penny. of the penny, and it looks like a burger. So that's pretty cool. That's really... Yeah. I dig it. Cool. Thank nice. you. Oh, don't send us pennies. Yeah. Please don't. Uh, not worth it. Like, mm. really. It'll be so heavy and expensive for you to ship them, and then we'll get yeah. them and be like, great. A waste of space. If we need pennies, we can just go to the U.S. We'll figure it out, yeah. Yeah, we can get a pack of 50 for 50. 50 cents, yeah. yeah. An omen. Oh, no. Yet another one. It's thick this time. So we've got a few in here, actually, this... Jesus. Oh, my goodness. What's going on over here? So we've been given five cards. Yas, queens. We've been given specifically the empress and the queens of wands, pentacles, swords, and chalices. Quote, wow, did you see the most recent RuPaul's Drag Race? I didn't. I totally didn't predict which queen got sent home. It just wasn't in the cards for her. Wow. Wow. Or meow. Thank you for these omens. We're going to get this whole deck eventually. I hope so. so. I have a letter here. Dear hilarious humanoids, you have no way of knowing this, save by the expediency of my writing, but on 11th Feb 2019, you were all indirectly responsible for my marriage to the best person alive. Oh. Indirectly. And the best person alive? That's, wow. Oh, good achievement. Yeah. So I'm just like, well, wait, hang on. Why weren't we marrying the best person alive? Right. We should have got there first. Yeah. My partner and I live in separate countries, half a world away, and planned to marry in Vancouver on the day listed. Unfortunately, events conspired to keep one would-be witness after another from attending. Alas, the province of BC requires two such, and as little as three days out, uh, we were one witness shy of quota. I panicked. I screamed. Then I spoke of my troubles on the LRR Discord, and a miracle happened. A person whom I barely knew became a lifelong friend, and on wedding happened, and and our wedding happened. All because of a shared love of funny videos, your funny videos. Since I am not independently wealthy, I was unable to source the proper thank you gift, a copy of the white sorcery proposal. So herein, find a single pack of MTG cards to stand in its place. Yours eternally thankful. Jordan, procedurally generated name in chat, and my beloved bride Vivian, our angel knows who she is. And they both signed it. What an amazing story. That's very sweet. That's really cool. I was wondering- we got a pack of battle bonds. I was wondering what the twist They're was going partners. to be. They're partners. They're two-headed giants. Oh! <laughs> very nice. Right. That's, that's so great. That's really cool. Thank you, and congratulations. congratulations. Ah, what you got? A postcard. Oh yeah. And it's it's great, because... Ooh, good moose. Good moose. Norway. It's you got moose, moose in Norway? I didn't know that. I mean, they have reindeer. I must, must have like a whole collection of ungulates. I don't think you have moose in Norway. I'm looking this up now. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got moose. All across the Arctic, eh? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Most moose are found in Canada, Alaska, and New England. Suck it. I don't know why I did that. Fen... Ooh, Fenoscandia. Is that the... Or, is or, or, or the Fenoscandian Peninsula is the geographical region comprising the Scandinavian Peninsula, Finland, Karelia, and the Kola Peninsula. Finland, Norway, and Sweden. Okay. As well as Murmansk Oblast. Oblast. Much of the Republic of Karelia and parts of the northern Leningrad Oblast in Russia. Huh. I'm learning what Fenoscandia is. It's that whole... That huge thing. weird chunk that we like to refer to as, as male as, genitals. Yeah. Yeah. The part that we think is just Scandinavia is more than that. Cool. The postcard, because it is a postcard, does read, Thanks for being who you are and doing what you do. Signed, nobody. Huh. Just an anonymous card. 
of of an elk moose, which is was a, it? That's not the same thing. Was it sent by the moose? Did a Fenno Scandinavian moose send us a postcard? I assume that has to be the case. I love this elk slash moose, large northern deer with enormous flattened antlers. Okay, elk are not moose though. Right, but our moose deer is an elk a deer because it's saying this is a large northern deer. I am, okay. <laughs> I've already been wrong once, but I am fairly confident that elk, moose, and deer are all separate species. Could they interbreed? Because if they I could, don't, I don't believe so. If chromosomally they could actually interbreed with each other, then does that just result in a different? It's like a lion and a tiger making a liger. Okay, moose and elk, yes, are in fact deer. Got it. They are, however, different things. Judging from the name, I would assume. No, but the, when I'm, I'm saying elk slash moose. Yes. The elk slash moose are indeed both members of the deer family. This is not an elk, this is a moose. moose. Thank you for sending us this amazing biological puzzle. I don't know why I'm so mad about it. What do we got going on here? Uh, this is a big box. It says it's from a book thing, which I believe is just a re the, the reuse of the box. Okay. Oh, here we go. Check it out. It's an envelope labeled Mail Time. Hey, they remembered yeah. who we were. <laughs> we're Mail Time. <laughs> Dear Doctor's Lure, with special greetings to Graham and Beach, if this is being read on Mail Time. I wanted to write you and say how much I enjoy your content. I've been following you for about a year and recently became a subscriber on Twitch. You know what I love? Brief mm. aside, you know what I love is that there's people who come up to us, because we just came back from Chicago and PAX East. Yeah. Or C2E2 and PAX East. And we had people coming up being like, hey, I've been following your stuff since The Escapist. Or, hey, I've been following your stuff. So what was the earliest one? Someone literally had a season one DVD. Just oh, the, yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Sign. But also, people with the same enthusiasm are like, hey, I found you guys like four months ago. Yeah, that's so good. And it's, it's so encouraging. <laughs> I love all of you. It feels really good, though, to but have... It's great that there's people who've been watching us forever and stick with us, and people that are just finding us now and like us. Yeah. And it's like, oh, good. Feel nice. Anyway, oddly, comma, what led me to your channel had nothing to do with magic or D&D or Twitch itself. That's not weird. We do lots of stuff that's not those things. It was a conversation I had with a friend about the storytelling capabilities in video games. Somehow, horror games came up, and while I can't do horror, I do like my stories. My friend mentioned there were a couple of guys on YouTube who did a playthrough of videos called Let's Nope. I found Alex and Ben's Let's Nope of Kona. From there I found Watch and Play and Friday Night Paper Fight and finally followed over to Twitch. I've loved watching your content and I'm constantly amazed at the sheer quantity and variety of your channel. From board games to card games to D&D and original comedy, you guys do so much and I want to reiterate how awesome each member of the crew is. Thank you. I was very excited to be able to send you a package of goodies. Though I haven't been around for that long, I think I've seen enough mail time to grasp the standard contents of an LRR care package. Oh, so it's in, gonna be full of spiders! So inside this box I have some <laughs> coffee, some snacks, a game, and a spider. Yes! Okay. Coffee. For some... Ian's so happy that this... Ian and, I, and Heather, I assume. Mm -hmm. It was Heather's fault originally, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. She's got to be enjoying that the spider thing's taken off. I think off. she's kind of being like, I think it's played out. <laughs> coffee. For some local Minneapolis flavor, I have included... Actually, here, you read the manifest. Starting oh, yeah. with coffee and I'll coffee. actually open this. Coffee. For some local Minneapolis flavor, I've included a bag of coffee from the Smith Douglas Moore House. Nice. The house was built in 1877. Oh, it's a literal house. As a farmhouse turned boarding house and is one of the few historic sites in that part of the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Hmm. Bonus, since I know not everyone is a coffee drinker, I've also included a bag of loose leaf tea from my favorite tea shop, Zen. Did they call it the Zen Mai Cha? Oh yeah, Zen Mai Cha. Okay, from favorite tea Kathleen, shop. Kathleen loves Zen Mai Cha. Okay. So Zen Mai Cha is a blend of traditional Japanese Gen Mai Cha, popped brown rice and sencha tea, and matcha powder. Oh, interesting. Ooh. There are also some tea bags for ease of use. Tea sack. Snacks. Okay. I figured I'd cover all my bases by sending you both some local nut mixes. Sour almonds? Mito. Sour almonds. Also some honey cashews. Oh yeah, I might have a few of those. Any more nuts? I don't think so. But there are certainly some gummy hearts. Yep. These are from Target. Great. Well, we don't have Target in Canada anymore. The game. This is one of my family's favorite games called... Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's... Bang. Bang. This is... This is the best bang I've ever seen. That's yeah, the bullet. Oh, yeah. It's going to look good on, on the shelf, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this version includes Italian instructions for some reason, but also comes with three expansions and a sheriff's badge. 
Actually, let me just take off the, there we go. Yeah, just bang. bang. The spider. This was very much the impetus of this package. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's very ominous. I saw that's this guy online. Caution creature inside. I thought of mail time and decided he must become yours. He is dishwasher safe and microwavable. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I'm sure he'll be of use to you in the moon base. What does that mean? That's terrifying. I try not to microwave my spiders. Oh, oh Jesus. Christ. Huh. Wow, that really startled me. <laughs> Did you see that? Not really. It's a mug. It's a mug. I can tell it's a mug. Creature cup. Oh, neat. <laughs> That's very well made. Yeah, check out this mug. <laughs> yeah. I hope it, it. Good thing it's dishwasher safe. That'd be very hard to clean. Apologies to anyone who is startled. Oh, God. I'm not. I'm not gonna give Ben coffee in this mug. No, please do I'm not. I'm not gonna. Because all will happen is that hot coffee will get on Ben and anything near him and will break the cup. Yes. But wow, that would be funny. Mm hmm. You know what I do like about this? I like that it's made in the same color. It's not a tiny black spider on the bottom of the cup. No, it's enormous. Yes. It's really unsettling. It's not meant to scare you. It, it's just really? meant to unsettle you, I, I think, think, is the it's idea. I think it's pretty scary. It's a white ceramic spider. You do, they don't look, come like that in nature, do they? If they do, they're terrifying. Oh, you can, you can get albino tarantulas. I haven't been to the bug zoo, so I wouldn't know. Fair enough. Depending on when you open this, the, I am either greatly looking forward to seeing you at C2E2 or very much enjoyed seeing you at C2E2. I enjoyed seeing you there, too. Uh, if you'll permit me to do a bit of a, be a bit of a mom, it is a good idea to wear layers in the Midwest. Last week we went from minus 35 Fahrenheit, which in uh, real terms is minus 37 Celsius, on Wednesday to 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius on Saturday. So if you get out here and don't like the weather, wait a day or two, odds are it'll change. Here's hoping that everything is going well with you. Thanks again for being so dedicated to your craft, your content, and the community that surrounds Loading Ready Run. We all appreciate it so much. Sincerely. Allison, who is word mogul in chat, and oh, I think we met we Allison. Did. We did yes. meet Allison, yes. That actually worked out very well because we just walked through a series of sky bridges to get from our hotel to C2E2, so we never had to go outside. That was so good. It was great. Actually, wait. <laughs> Since this is this kind of party. I have to know what a sour almond it tastes like. Well, I have to, I have to just have a honey cashew, even though I'm pretty sure I know what it tastes like. Should I be excited? Yeah. Weird. All right. I'm into it. That's very pleasant. That's really nice. Yeah. That could be very easily overdone and it has not been. How's the honey cashews? Just right. Like wow. they're not dripping in sugar, right? Shout outs to Twin City Almonds for going very subtle on your flavors. Whereas you could easily not have. Okay. I think this is going to be complicated because... Okay. That's, a, that's always a good sign. There's cardboard to keep everything from getting knocked around. Uh-huh. But there's other things in here as well. Are these our notes? Whoops. This package should include two letters from your adoring fans. Yes. Uh, one from Serena, one from Lucas. Three packs of magic, two packs of Battle Bond, and one pack of Born of the Gods, so, which are probably not labeled. Correct. Lucas and Serena? Lucas and Serena. All right. And I'm not going to say what the third thing is just yet. All right. <laughs> if you'd like, we could. Um, we could each do a letter sure. simultaneously. That sounds terrific. If we split the audio, Dear, Dear Graham and probably Graham, Beach, otherwise the wrestling references Ottawa. below may not make sense. I've been following your content since well the escape of stairs. We're not going to do that. That's a terrible idea. All right. Okay. Give me one of them. You're going to have that one. All right. Dear Doctor's Lure, hopefully Graham, otherwise the wrestling references below may not make sense. I hope this letter finds you all well and in good spirits. My girlfriend and I have been meaning to write for ages and finally put this little package together to send your way. I've only been a fan for about three years or so, but in that time, you folks have encouraged me to jump wholeheartedly into video games, Magic the Gathering, wrestling, and so many new interests I never thought I could enjoy for various reasons. So thank you so much for that. I am incredibly grateful for the constant positivity you folks bring to my life as it has helped me not only through my transition, I am a trans man, but through my undergraduate degree. Your community and content are a hopeful reminder to many that we are not alone and never have to be again. So once again, thank you. Hey, thank you awesome. for, for being here. Hopefully you found the note with the contents of this package, so I will need to elaborate on that in this letter. 
My girlfriend picked up the magic packs, and the prints are something that I began working on soon after becoming enthralled with Sidewalk Slam. It took me so long to finish that by the time I finished it, Asuka had already lost her winning streak and was no longer the NXT champion, so I hope you enjoy them and allow them to remind you of the sweet days of Asuka's undefeated reign over in- Whoa! Right? In NXT. Whoa! Uh, not that I'm saying her current storyline is bad or anything. Well, <laughs> hasn't been amazing. Uh, anywho, thanks again for all that you do. I look forward to Road Quest, the next Sidewalk Slam, and all those good streams and memes. I'm so sorry. All the best. Lucas, aka Not Multiple Robots, on Twitch and Discord. Thank you, Lucas. Dear Graham and probably Beach, greetings from Ottawa. I've been following your content since the Escapist days with one of the first sketches I remember being Bad News, which I like a lot. I'm really excited for Road Quest and just in general for more content. Thank you everyone at Loading Ready Run for making such a positive and inclusive community. You've all been a large part of my life and I want to thank you for all you do. So this package is from both me and my boyfriend, his name is Lucas. He'll have another letter for you to read off the air. But he's really the one to thank for putting this one together, so I figured he should get credit in this one too. I think this is... Those are the ones off the air. I think the backs of this is what's off the air. Speaking of putting things together on the con onto the contents of this package, included in this gift should be a list of contents, found it, some packs of magic, yes, some letters including this one, and some cool art of Asuka for Graham and Adam that my boyfriend did. Got it. Ah, I thought they were like official prints or like... No. No, that's... No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's original art. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, the packs of magic are a pack of Born of the Gods, the most recent set when I started playing. Uh, Loading Ready Run is the reason I got into magic, so here's the set that got me to keep playing. Also includes two packs of Battle Bond, as this package is from two people. I thought this would be a cute way to get that across. That's... That's the second time that's happened in the last ten minutes. That's really cool. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for all that you do. From Serena or Link4422 in the Twitch chat and Discord. Great. I have seen Link go by. Terrific. Thank you so much, uh, Serena and Lucas. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I will pass that on to Adam. Bags of air. Bags of air. Bags of air. Oh, I think I remember somebody talking to us about this. Oh, yes! Someone at C2E2 told us they were going to send me this. And I'm very, very excited about it. This is a book called Type Set in the Future. Which is a great pun. And this is typography and design in science fiction movies. I'm sure there's an entire area that's just aliens. Oh, of course. There's a whole... Mike Okuda. A whole facing page on Mike Okuda, who created the L cars for Next Generation. Nice. And the fonts. <gasps> oh, it calls out all the fonts. Oh my god. It's, ex it's exactly what you would expect a, uh, a book about this to do. Oh, this is in this scene in Blade Runner, they use Cheltenham Bold. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. The fact that they, they pull out the fonts and give you a full alphabet of each font. Is this, which one's this, Total Recall? Yeah, Total, the Total Recall title font was Corvinus Skyline, and then the rest of the credits were Information Extra Bold Wide. Oh, this is my kind of shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This one is, this is Futura Pro Extra Bold Oblique in, in Wally, -E, but you can see that, like, that is used in Costco. Oh yeah, the by and large in Wally -E is the same font as Costco. Which is why it felt so familiar. That's so smart. Right? Typography is so important when you're trying to do, like, trying to establish a sense of place. Yep. And you don't think about that, but set designers certainly do, and, and people who design credits, and like, all the, this stuff is so important to making something look a certain way. It takes me so long to come up with logos for new for our new Twitch shows because I'm like, this, this got to get the I got to get the right font for this. Yeah, we spent like you and I spent like ten minutes I think traveling. We were like, what are we going to use for this new stream? Mm -hmm. And just this idea of like, should we set it in this? Should we set it in that? And, I, and I'm going through font lists, and you're going through font lists, trying to see like what would be a good pick. Yep. And that's why. I'm so excited. Thank you. For I don't remember. I don't remember who it was that said they were going to send it because, of course, Amazon didn't give us a note. But thank you very much for that. That's awesome. I have something from Amazon as well. Do you? Yep. And it's Amazon, not, so generous. Not terribly well sealed. This is interesting because this got brought up. Uh, I think Alex even posted. He's like, "Hey, do we have a copy of Root?" Yeah, and we've I, played it. And I was like, "Yeah." And when I was at PAX East, yeah. I noticed that they had this. Oh. The Riverfolk expansion. And apparently there's another expansion as well. Play as the Lizard Cult. That's new. The Riverfolk Company. That's new. And a second Vagabond. Oh dear. You can compete with a rival Vagabond. And Mechanical Marquis. Wage war against the Mechanical Marquis in competitive or cooperative modes. And wild. The, the Vagabonds can be a vagrant, an arbiter, or a scoundrel. 
Ah, that's awesome. Pitch. Uh huh. <laughs> it's root, but more. And with mercenary otters selling their services to the highest bidder and cultist lizards, PM Avers. Terrific. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I look forward to more of that. Thank you. I have a little package here wrapped in a map and many, many stamps. It says moo on the side of it. It does. Oh, it says 3300. Oh, damn. I thought I like mine better. Look at all these stamps. They're like precious gemstones of Australia. Oh, very nice. Very nice handwriting. I don't know what this monthly mail time is that they're referring to. Though. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Can you imagine doing this monthly? Oh, God. We're such dicks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry, map. What's this a map of? Henley Perth. Brook, Whitman Park. Oh, Perth. Well. Unless there's more than one Perth. I've never been, so. Warning, contains a gremlin. Oh, that's... It's dead by now. Yeah, it didn't poke air holes in the thing. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. <gasps> what a... It's the magic. It's the Kaladesh gremlin. Oh, good. It's the gremlin from Kaladesh. You can feed them whatever you want. It's a premium zippered gamer pouch. I have some questions, Ultra Pro. Is, is, it, is it the fact that there's a, there's a carabiner coming out of its head? Is that one of the questions? For the crack -a pack box from, oh, this is from R. Lopez 10. Oh, cool. Sent December 2018. Well, Perth. Wow, by, by mail time. You have terrific writing. I don't know if you can see that either, but you've got excellent penmanship. Hang on, is there something in, oh God, there's a spin down counter in there. Okay, that's Hopefully you'll be happier when, now that, that... Oh, wait, there's more. Hang on. What on earth? Some sort of challenge coin? It's the... Immortal Sun? No, this is the Orzhov treasure token. Oh. Like a real version of the Orzhov treasure token from the new... Except the, it can't be set. from the new one because this was shipped December. Uh, they spoiled it before that, I think. Oh, I see. Premium zippered gamer pouch. Gotta get that name in there. Gamer pouch. Gamer pouch. This is great. I'm thank yeah, you for sending this. Yeah, really cool. But like, what's up, fellow gamers? Wow, that's really awful. You got something on your dick. No, that's just my gamer pouch. Yeah, it's where I keep my spare change. <laughs> One sec. Let, let me fish her out for some quarters. One sec. Let me get my bus fare out of my gamer pouch. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is tiny hate demon holds it for me. And make sure to hang my gremlin near my balls. I really think, I can't show you the... Like, the, this is great, and I'm so yeah. glad to have this, and this is absolutely going to sit on the set, but, like, it's just the fact they call it a premium zippered gamer pouch. Why is it a pouch? Why can't it just be a plush? Yeah. Why can't they have just made a little plush gremlin? Why does it have to be practical in some stupidly useless way? I guess... Well, I love it. Yeah, it's so, it's really, it's really nice, like... Do, do you make this yourself? This looks like you handmade this. I can't hear you yet. Oh, right. Well, thank you. I guess I'll put the coin back in the gremlin. A lot of new sentences being invented today. Make sure to insert the coin in your own gremlin before assisting others. Thank you, R. Lopez. Cool. Ah. What's this? It's, it's a game. And space, space. It's just on its own. And oh, there is a thing in the bottom. Oh, here's one that's caught on it as well. It is John D. Clare's. Space base. Well, now it's our space base. Imagine if a deck builder like Dominion was combined with craps, where your deck is laid out in a tableau in front of you in a range of 2 to 12, and you roll 2d6 every turn to see what you and other players get. That's from PM Avers. Thank you. What is this? Ah, monthly mail time. We've just ruined all of it. Uh, more lovely handwriting. Right. This is practically calligraphic. Well, look on the other side, but don't show it off. Oh, it's from the same person. <laughs> yes, it is. It's just a completely different. That's what got me because you're like, look at the look at the the calligraphy on here, and I'm like, yeah, I, hang on a second. That's amazing. It's a completely different style. Well, you've sealed it with gaff, so it can't escape. Still haven't cut air holes though, so I have no idea what this could be. Whoop! It's a bolus of newspaper. I think my knife is broken. How oh, you... it's glassware. Yo, and a, wait, what? There's things in it. Delicate things. Oh, it's making lights. I want to believe it's dice. I think it is. It is. I shake it. Kind of see. And then it stops bit. at. That's a one. And then it goes. You've got one and flashes. Wow. 
This is really cool. This glass. Oh, this glass has the the guild pact. It's got all the guilds from Ravnica. And this is also, this, I mean, the glass is from Ikea, but it's... Hand etched? Oh, 2019-02-18 glass of the guild pact for LRR R. Lopez 10. That's amazing. I bet it's even dishwasher safe. Yeah. Well, it's been etched into the glass, so yeah. yeah, we could probably... And there's a puzzle here, too. Well, time to dig out a puzzle and do that on mail time. <laughs> no. Wow. That's that's astounding. I wish there was a note. That's so cool. So it's these two little motion-activated randomizing LED dice, a random puzzle, and this super cool glass. Thank you. Wow. I have another Canadian local. Do you? Yes. And boy, is it a box full of a lot of things. Whoa, what a combination of stuff. A lot of things, I mean, a lot of things we like, but it's an it's a it's a blank envelope which I bet has the note. Dear doctors, LRR. Hello, Graham with a strike through in it. Beege with a strike through through it. Greege. And they thought very nicely to put it in a different typeface. Oh. Yeah, cool. Hang on. Greetings from Syracuse, New York. That is not where you sent this from. I have been a fan of your work since from the Escapist days, getting hooked on uh, ENN and Feed Dump. From there, I followed you to Penny Arcade and eventually to your website. Since then, visiting your site has become a daily, if not hourly, routine. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, yeah. I've been following Desert Bus since DB9 and look forward to it every year. I have had the pleasure of meeting Loading Ready Run twice, both times at Com Bravo and Hamilton. That makes a lot more sense. Yep. I did confuse the hell out of Graham when I mentioned how much my daughter Nina wanted to see him and then held up a plush dog wearing a wig. Sorry, what? I did confuse the hell out of Graham when I mentioned how much my daughter Nina wanted to see him and then held up a plush dog wearing a wig. Ah. I learned that weekend that people don't appreciate a show Tucker cosplay. I was also the one that gave you the shark hat featured in Feed Dump 215. I'm a lifelong wrestling fan and absolutely love Sidewalk Slam. Trying to look at the positives in WWE and boys at hard sometimes is a nice change of pace for most every other wrestling podcast and column. Listening to Adam yell, we're here! We're here! We're here! is one of the best ways to start any listening experience. I got into magic from your content, though unlike most people that say that, it wasn't from Friday nights, though I do love Friday nights. I got into magic from listening to Tab Tab Conceit at night to help me sleep. Mm. After a couple of months listening, I eventually decided to try it out. It was ultimately the Rivals of Ixalan nickname episode that made me cave and buy a Planes Rocker deck. Wow. Thanks to you, the professor, and Wedge, a fellow upstater, Nice. I've grown to become an okay player. I want to thank you for all your wonderful work. I don't get to catch the streams live as much as I'd like to, though as I'm writing this, I'm hyped to sell for the Lure Autumnal Rumble, which is taking place in less than an hour. Oh, cool, all right. Cool. But I love looking back at all your old videos to see what I miss. I love watching mail time and loading time, seeing the behind the scenes action, seeing the love that your fans send you is a great way to pass the time. It's a great way for me to pass the time too. As is tradition, I filled that this package with various goodies. I know usually people mail you things from their hometowns, but Syracuse is really only known for salt potatoes and poverty, both of which don't do well in post. It also has a banging uh, rail station that we got out at, I think. So that was fun. Yeah, I got to see Syracuse from the platform. Mm -hmm. You didn't get out of Syracuse, did you? I don't think I did. I got out in Albany. So instead, I have included other mostly non-Syracuse related items. Firstly are the cards. I have four packs of magic, included our 6th edition, Amonkhet, Dragon's Mage, and Gate Crash. The other cards are non-magical, though may be magical. One is a pack of the Slayer's Collector's cards. Weird. I'll give those to Heather. The other three are TF2 trading cards. I bought over 100 of them back in 2013. I went to a con as Saxton Hale, gave a speech at the Val photoshoot, handed out the cards before proposing to my now spouse who went as an engineer. Aw, that's really cute. Next are a couple of bags of coffee from my local roaster. I oh. think this? Yep, this is the coffee. They both look delicious, and I hope you all enjoy them. The Ethiopian, I got especially for Graham, since they said it's one of the best ones they use for cold brewing. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Wait, yeah. There you go. Fruity, wine-like tone, medium body, medium acidity. Finger Lakes Coffee Roasters. Got out of the Finger Lakes. I know a while back you said no more sweets. We, we, cut we, asked you to, we asked you to cool it. Yeah. But who can turn down Girl Scout cookies? Not, I made that kid's day when I asked for... Not these guys. One of each. One of each? Okay, hang on. What do we got going on here? Trefoils. Toffee-tastics. Tagalongs. do si -dos, S'mores? Savannah Smiles. Samoas. And Thin Mints. Of course. Hell yeah. Those will last about three seconds. 
Lastly is a more unique item. In the small white box is a blue canary. Blue canary nightlight. Yeah. They are good for the soul and would be useful for some place like the moon base or a birdhouse. Oh. Thank you all again for all the wonderful work you do and may you keep being awesome for the foreseeable forever. Sincerely, Justin Lake, who is Dormar on Twitch. Thank you, Justin. That's a really cute looking nightlight. The first asterisk about New York, it says, my computer does not have papyrus as a font, but it does have one that's simply called bad script. Wow. And the double star is, sorry for any, for any confusion this may cause. I currently live in Syracuse for now, but my spouse lives in Hamilton. Wow, that's a tough road to hoe, damn. And I'm mailing it from there since it'll be much cheaper. It sure it was. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. yeah. Wow. Great. Thank you, Justin. This is... Oh, hey, speaking of expansions to games we have and have enjoyed on AFK. Uh-huh. Here is the expansion to Dice Forge. Damn! Excuse me, Girl Scout cookies. This is Dice Forge Rebellion. Elevator pitch, it's more Dice Forge. Plus, I appreciate the box just saddles up to the sanctuary with the new stuff and continues the good storage solution the original had. From PM Avers. Nice. Oh, I see. You just... The box interfaces with the existing box. There's just an area for it to go. Yeah. Sweet. Well, cool thank idea. you. We, I believe we intend to play more Dice Forge. And then we have that. Excuse me, Gremlin, you're going to sit up there with the spiders. Okay, this knife is um, disappointing. <laughs> it's not sharp enough to cut through tape. Or barely sharp enough to cut through tape. That's like... That's... Like the one thing. Yeah. It's got to be able to cut through tape. I kind of just need it to do the thing that it's supposed to do. Hold tab to open. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew better than to be anywhere near you. <laughs> like, I'm going to get drifted to it with a piece of cardboard to the face. Holy moly. Here. Okay. I have a variety of things happening. Meal time. Oh, good. That's the start of it. With a pusheen. It's no. That's that's. Okay. That's attached. part of the. Yeah. yeah. With a pusheen sticker. This is. It's a postcard of Brighton Pier. I've been to Brighton Pier. Dear Grandma Beach. Hello from cold and windy England, or Wingland. No, it doesn't work. I hope this box gets to you in one piece. Over the last few years, Loading Ready Run has provided me and so many others with a welcoming source of happiness and positivity that often seems so lacking in internet communities. Boy, doesn't it. <laughs> in return for all the joy you've shared with us, I would like to share with you some of the things that make me happy. One day, I would love to meet the LRR crew, but US cons and GPs are a bit too far from my wallet. One day, maybe. For now, please enjoy the contents of this box. All the best from Dash, AKA Dash of Starshine. See, that's the point where I'm like, we should go to England. And then like, there's a montage of us going to England. <laughs> Here's the thing, okay. This, this is not, I'm not calling you out, Dash. But you know that if we were like, Hey, guess what? We're finally coming to England. We'll be at a convention yeah. in London. Yeah. Because probably London, right? You know there'd be someone in, like, fucking Cornwall who's like, oh, that's a bit far. <laughs> and it's like, I, we're doing what we can. Yeah. People in England and mainland Europe have a different understanding of how far it is to travel to something than, they, than we do in North America. Yeah. Like, we drove, when we went to Calgary for that GP, we drove for like 17 hours. Yeah. And it was a lot, but it was like, yeah, that's how far we have to drive tomorrow and it's going to suck, but I okay. used to. But whereas it's like going like halfway laterally across England, the, the, the narrow part. Yeah. Going halfway is like, oh my God. Yeah. It's so far. Like I would. Uh, it's like two hours in the train. From Edmonton to Vancouver for Anime Evolution or Edmonton to Seattle for SacraCon. And that's about 16 to, to 18 hours yeah. of driving. Yeah. At 110. Yeah. Right? But you're still, that's a lot of driving for a long, long period of time with a lot of people behind you in the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm saying is. If we get to the point where we're like, hey, we're going to be in England. You guys better all show up. <laughs> please, please don't be like, oh, London, couldn't you be doing it somewhere closer to York? How about Cardiff? Yeah. <laughs> I get if you're in Dublin because you have to take like a boat yeah. or something. Yeah. I assume. We should pick like the geographic center of the UK. Great. The middle of the Irish Sea. I was going to be like the Isle of Man. <laughs> Everyone come to Jersey. We're on the Isle of Man. Jersey is not. No, it isn't. No. No. Anyway, 
In this box you will find... Sorry, that had nothing to do with you, Dash. Thank you for this. In this box you'll find... Oh, yeah. One letter and a Kingdom Hearts figurine set. Oh, that's the big thing. For Ben. You get Mickey, Axel, and Shadow. One postcard and sticky notes wow. for Alex. One owl hat. Wow, haven't had a hat for a while. I can't remember where I got this. It has lived on various shelves and never worn. Always mysterious. Now it is yours. Or maybe Penelope might like it. Man, I love the rules around here. Whoever opens it wears it. Oh, that's a good hat. Ooh. It is a good hat. One Liliana headpiece. Sure is. I mean, here you go, I guess. I mean, you opened it. Aren't you All supposed right, to Well, then it? I have to... Wait, no. Surely we could be an owl walker. She should think about wearing an owl hat with her veil. Yeah. yeah. I'm an MTG cosplayer, and this crown was part of my first MTG cosplay, and the first thing I made from Warbla. It is not the most professionally made, but I hope it'll make a nice prop or decoration. I think this will act... I'm, in fact, I don't want to stretch it. I think this will... Ooh! The fuck is out there? I think this will uh, come in handy, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it this should just sort of sit... I can't... The glasses... Elsa, you have a much larger have a head than most people. Well, I'll put... Head. Let me put it on. I mean, is it going to fit your head either? I mean, I guess. I don't think... Hey, that's... what's up? It's your girl, Liliana. <laughs> <laughs> One pack of Lorwyn... Yo, which you've labeled. Yo. Yo. My first MTG set for Crack a Pack. Thank you. Two packs of Percy Pigs. Maybe not the most traditional English sweet, but they're certainly tasty. We'll also add some Cadbury Dairy Milk if there is space. Guess what? There was, there was space. space. <laughs> and one little box of MTG cards included a From the Vault Bloodline Keeper for Kathleen and an old card with a good pun for a name. Also some unstable zombie tokens for anybody who wants them. Wow. Thank you. What's the pun name? <gasps> Grizzly Fate. Uh, yes! Cute. I need a Grizzly Fate. Terrific. Uh, Grizzly Fate is... It's, Part of your bear deck? Yeah, three green green, put two two bears into play, and then Threshold. If, if you have Threshold, you actually put four bears into play. Holy crap. And you, it also flashes back for five green green. So you just make lots of bears. All these bears. Thank you! That's wonderful, Dash. Much appreciated. I like Brighton. I've only been a couple times, but I've enjoyed Brighton every time. Oh, there's a lot going on here. The Brighton Pavilion is a terrific place to visit because it's one of those old manor houses that was like, well, the lord who lived here once was quite mad. And so the building, the building is unwell. Like, it's, it's, you step inside and you're like, oh, yes, this was not decorated by someone who was in possession of their faculties. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, All right. it's amazing. <laughs> you can take that off. Uh, if I do... Then we'll... you lose the power of the... Yeah, you're yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And Nicol Bolas <laughs> comes and takes over. If I do, something important happens that I have no idea what that is. Dear Doctors LRR. That's us. I've been a fan for a few years now, having first, like so many others, stumbled across Unskippable. There have been a lot of you who watched Unskippable. It was a very popular show. It was. At one time, it was the second most popular show on The Escapist behind Zero Punctuation, but the publisher didn't get it. <laughs> well, you're not number one, so fuck you. No, it wasn't even that. Didn't care that it was the second most popular show. Oh. Didn't get it. Buried the show. Ah. Yeah. I don't mind talking about this now. I've mentioned it at, at panels and stuff. Whatever. F that guy. Continue. Having grown up on MST3K, I was instantly enchanted. Thank you. I have since binged the hell out of most of your other series, some of my favorites being Watch and Play, Commodore Hustle, Feed Dump, Mate Rest in Peace, and any Crossing the Streams that featured gang. I was going to do that too. <laughs> And he crossed the streams that features gang beasts. Yes. Monthly mail time is my go-to when I'm in need of positive feels, and I've wanted to join the people sending you things for some time now, and now you have, but have been much delayed by anxiety issues. Oh. If you are reading this, I've managed to power through those long enough to get this in the mail. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. I want to express my sincere thanks to you and the community you gathered around you for being amazing in so many ways. My spouse is trans. They're the ones who sent you the spoofer for ornaments in previous mail time. Wait, we met them at C2E2. Yeah, we did. C2E2? The I, PAX. We met them. I'm gonna level with you. Those places. ten days kind of blur together. Yeah, yeah. Was I mean, it ten days? Was it twelve days? Was it nine days? The, we were on a train for twenty-three hours. I still count that as part of one of the cons. Yeah, we were on three different cons. One of them was a train, and the only attendants oh. were myself and Beej and Veronica, who was very nice. She was so good. My spouse is trans, uh, and I struggle with my mental health, and it means the world to them and to me that there exists a space that is so genuinely welcoming and loving as a loading ready run channel and community. 
Thank you very much. Uh, you've created a truly wonderful thing in Loading Ready Run, and I hope you all know how much happiness and warmth you have brought to the world. Thank you so much to all the Doctors LRR and to all the lovely people in the chat. It's hard to know that sometimes, but it, but every time we do this show and every time like this happens, it's really great. I want to I take a moment. You would be forgiven for thinking, considering how often it comes up in, in mail time or at our tables, at, at shows when people come up and say hi, or even just in our Discord with people talking. You would be forgiven for thinking that like half of our viewership is uh, trans or gay even just LGBT or exists yeah. on the LGBTQ plus sort of whole entire thing or or suffers from some sort of mental illness like depression or anxiety or things like that and the thing is it's 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 not actually it's it's not as high a percentage of the total as you might think it's just that. We, and I'm, I say this, I'm patting myself on, on the back here, I'm proud of this. We have created a place where these people feel comfortable being, and, and not just being, but being themselves, and saying that, and it means so much more to them. Yeah. So we hear it all the time. Yeah. You know, I don't actually think that the, the percentages the are... statistical percentage is that, I don't think we're actually an outlier, it's just that we're, we, we're cool with it. Yeah. We encourage it, and it's great and awesome, and people are comfortable and happy to to say these things, and I I love it. I think it's great. Yeah, keep doing it. Yeah, I could go on and on like this, but that won't get us to the fun of looking through the box contents. So on to that, and close to the following items. Number one, this note. If this note is not present, there's something very wrong. And also, what are you reading? Mm. One day that's going to happen. There's going to be a backup note in the box, and just in case we don't read the actual real note. <laughs> Uh, number two, some bags of delicious... Holy... F what? Potato chips. What the You're gonna hell? have to handle this. Made here in St. Louis, these were judged to have a better chance of surviving the trip than many of our other delicacies. Seriously? Which would have included excellent craft beer and gooey butter cake. Oh, we had the gooey butter cake. Yeah, we had some gooey butter cake in Chicago. Fuck. You guys are mad. Yeah, these are not being nearly as suited to postal travel. In the same vein, there's a... I, sorry, brief yeah. aside. I can't believe it was like, hmm, what's the best thing we can think of to survive being shipped? Potato chips. <laughs> I mean, they got here. They did. They look, they look almost entirely intact. We've got sweet potato. We've got original and spicy kicker. Kosher certified spicy kicker chips. All right. And thank you for thinking of us in terms of, you might want something a little savory because you probably get sweets all the time. Yeah. In the same vein, a paper bag containing a number of chocolates from a local chocolatier, Kakao. Oh. Spelled K-A-K-A-O. Oh, it's, just, it's a whole bag of... Kakao. Just loose single serving chocolates? Dark chocolate squares, milk chocolate squares. Oh, there's a box. Semi-sweet hot chocolate mix. Ah. And some big squares. Yep, milk bar, semi-sweet, 61%. 61, you are like a little baby. <laughs> That's wonderful, thank you. I recently tried 100% dark chocolate. It's... It was good. Oh yeah? It was, it's... The, I was like, wow, because the highest I'd gone before was like 93. Okay. And I was like, wow, 100. And the guy was like, yeah, it's... It's an acquired taste. It's like coffee. And I was like, is it? Yeah. And I tried it and wow. Mm, it was good. Two bags of coffee. From hey! A, from an excellent roastery near my home, selected by my coffee drinking spouse. Oh, Highlander Grog. Someone else sent us Highlander Grog recently. I think they did, yeah. Grog. That's awesome. With the Grog, with two Gs. And Honduras, Marcala Kunza. We definitely appreciate it when when you're, when you're you do the, the thing where it's like, I'm going to ask somebody who knows the best to pick yeah. an interesting assortment of something. So mm -hmm. that is great. I believe it's this, my collection of magic cards from high school for reasons lost to memory stored in a plastic cheese box ever since I gave the game 20 years ago. 
This is just your cards? I love the plastic cheese box idea. Oh my goodness. Maybe it contains rare treasures, maybe it's just dross. You haven't checked this. If it is trash, feel free to trash it. I just figured it should go to people better able to evaluate its worth. I hope that it at least contains some nostalgia value. There's a mono green deck here with like marker beetles, Matenda lion, plated root walla, urnum gin, dirt cowl worm, overruns. Oh my goodness me. Holy moly. Well, someone, hey, that's a counterspell. Well, we're gonna have to look through this because this looks like some pretty amazing stuff. A board game that I believe would make for an extremely amusing AFK stream. It is, this is gonna be so hard to get on screen. 404 Law Not Found, a game in which you play multi malfunctioning robots on a spaceship attempting to fulfill arbitrary directives that have replaced your usual helpful nonviolent laws. In doing so, you might need to fire a monkey out of the ship's torpedo tubes, load pies into the engine, or use the ship's nano lathe to turn all the weapons on board into bananas. Your directives are hidden from other players, and it doesn't matter who accomplishes them so long as they get done. So players are usually operating at chaotic cross purposes, but could be inadvertently advancing each other's agendas. And number seven, some amount of cat hair. This isn't intentional, merely unavoidable. Oh, yeah, no, I feel that. I don't, you know, don't worry. Hopefully that all arrived intact. Again, thank you sincerely, John. It did, even the chips. Real Jack Dahman in chat. Cool, or thank Jack you. Jack Dahman, Jack Dahman. Thank you so much. Okay, Beach has cleared most of that out of the way and I'm gonna let rip while you're already out of my range. Yep. All right, good, we got there. Oh, the note, hang on. Note is taped to the top of the inside of the lid. Great idea. Yeah, and it says, Dear Doctor's Lure, first, Graham, it must be difficult to run an entire moon base using technology as primitive as mobile phones. So I've taken the liberty of upgrading your comm system. Uh. C box one. And there must be smaller boxes inside the box? There Plastics. are. Papers. Nope, it's paper. A, a short note, hints and tips from Beach. so Heather has to do that again. Um, pack your boxes as full as you can, because that'll keep things from rattling around and maybe breaking. Box one. Yo! Whoa, oh my god! Yo! Yo! That's so sweet! You know, I've never had one of these. This is Bluetooth. Oh, oh, so it works with your phone. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely sinking that later. That's amazing. Second, a while ago Cam mentioned that he considers this paint something of a holy grail of the Citadel range, C Box 2. The deck box was just to ensure it was shipped safely, but who doesn't want a bright pink deck box anyway? I'm going to open this on Cameron's behalf. The nice thing is that we can leave it in the box, put it in his cubby. And he'll be like, why is there a bright pink Ultra Pro box in my cubby? He's like, you should open it. Oh, well packed. Goodness gracious. Haha. -ha. Citadel color, Deadly Nightshade. Oh, yeah. I remember him talking about this. Terrific. Or I can't wait to pass that on to him. Yeah. Third, whilst I'm not a wrestling fan myself, I figure you need somewhere to write your notes for Sidewalk Slam. See box three. It's just like opening one of my mother's care packages. <laughs> oh. It's a WWE notebook with a WWE logo embossed in it. That's great. That's super helpful. Thank you. Also, the, the three disc set. Oh, it's WrestleMania on Blu ray. From 2017. Yes, it just says WrestleMania. It doesn't. Uh, so on the side underneath the thing. WrestleMania 2017. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Cool. The architect, Seth Rollins, gets his chances at revenge as he takes on the game, Triple H, in a non-sanctioned match. Let's have a match, but not have it mean anything. This was not... Or not be allowed. This was not the world's most amazing WrestleMania, but it was uh, but it was okay. But this is really cool. I've never actually had one of these on DVD, this is, or on Blu-ray. This is super cool. Thank you. Oh, it is DVD. They still make DVDs? <laughs> wow. All right, sweet. Thanks. Nearly there now. I... Figure by the time this gets opened, any healthy eating New Year's resolutions will be a, a defunct memory. So in the hamper is a selection of England's finest esoteric retro processed sugar products for your enjoyment. Anyway, big fan, blah, blah, blah. Keep up the good, they say blah, blah, blah. Keep up the good work. Hope you enjoy the things and the stuff enclosed from Aslan 121. It's an actual, picnic hamper. it's an actual gift hamper. That's super cool. Let's see what's inside. Oh, Ooh. whoa, okay, we've got Jazzles, White Mice, Haribo Sour Suckers, Rainbow Drops, 
some more rainbow drops, tuba flumps, Scooby-Doo candy sticks with a sticker. Um, those things. UFOs, popping candy, more tiny Haribos, Vimto Chew Bar. That's not a real thing. Swizzles refreshers, L original lemon flavor, and strawberry flavor. Is this a whistle? A what is this? A working whistle. It's a, it's a whistle. It's the Swizzles whistle. Shh. That's not, that doesn't work. Sure. It's meant to make children lightheaded. Some sort of pale Coke bottle. We call these rockets. You call them necklace. Oh no, it's a necklace. It's a candy necklace. Different properly colored Coke bottles. A bunch of, oh good, liquor peaches probably. Li licorice all sorts. Swizzles Parma Violets. Parma Violets. Sure. Sherbet Cherry Tubs. It sounds like someone's awful nickname in high school. <laughs> I see pixie sticks. Love hearts. Yep. Sugar just whatever's. Sugar in a tube. Oh wow. What a what a collection of just like like random five P random news agents candies. Yeah. Awesome. I am more impressed that you just said the words white mice without even slowing down. <laughs> Because you said, oh look, Haribo and Jazzles and white mice. And I'm like, what? I've, Han, not any white mice, Hannah's white mice. Well, we should give them back to her. She's probably missing them. I have no idea what these are. I've literally never seen these before. I was just like, well, there's big words. I'm just going to say white mice and keep on going. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. All right, we're almost done. All right. You got, you, left. you got one more? I got one more here. All right, and you got then, one more there. And we got to actually go and record Sidewalk Slam. Right. Graham, Beej, others. Like me. Yeah, like him. Oh. Hey. I tweeted you, Graham, about the contents of this box a few weeks ago, and you failed to say, quote, no. So these hats slash masks slash shirts are your trash now. Don't you put this voodoo on me. The packing material is shredded expense report documents from my two times former employer. I guess it's twice ago. All right. Which went bankrupt under me. It should be recyclable, but maybe not compostable, as there's probably some plastics in there. This is from Gabriel... <laughs> I'm not going to read your whole thing, but oh god, your your Twitch handle is 0x6772, and I okay. have no idea what that, that is. Oh my god, they are expense reports. Whoa! I hate that we have this agreement that uh, whoever opens it has to wear it. Okay. Man, I love the rules around here. Whoever opens it wears it. <laughs> but... <laughs> it's gotten very, very complicated. <laughs> So there's that. Ah, La Diablo. Azul. Oh, no. El Diablo. So much crap. Oh, God. You've made a terrible enemy this day. Dusty. Oh, dear. All the pieces of paper are everywhere. They're going to get in my hair. Oh, warning. This is not a protective helmet. No shit. Oh, yeah. I can see. There you go. That fits you very well. I'm, um... Partial to this. Yeah. I don't know why, but this is, feels like coming home. Maybe you were a luchador in a previous life. Maybe I was. Maybe it's something I've always wanted and dared not dream of. You're creating some uh, new shit for the UFW, let me tell you right now. No kidding. That is not going to fit my head. Oh, it does. Look, it has a protective neck flap. Well, good. Yeah. yeah. In case someone tries to hit you with a back body drop, I suppose. That was it, right? Was yeah. Anything? Okay, it's, it's, good. I don't know, actually. There might be more. There's a lot of expense reports in here. We're going to go light this on fire. Oh, there's more. Uh-oh. Do, the do you have room in the paper yeah. throwaway thing? So here's what we're going to do. Feel free to dump as much of that out into the paper thing and, and pull out the rest of the things that are in there. Because otherwise, it's going to make a mess of the studio. And I don't want to clean it up later. I think some of it's getting on the floor no matter what I do. All right. Um, here? That might need a little work. That's a very nice flat cap. Which has uh, been branded with Jim Beam Black. Oh, good. What do you mean, good? Well, it's in case anyone isn't sure who who you are. There's a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shirt of you. Oh, this is gonna need to go through a laundry. Yeah, several I'm times. Put it over here for now. Yeah, holy <laughs> shit. These expense reports get everywhere. Cool. This is. What a, what a weird assortment of stuff you've given us. Yeah. I like the helmet. This is very uh, this is very sturdy for a for a non-protective helmet. I guess I leave this on until. Um, well, we've only got this one package left. Until we're done. This is from Ivalens. Oh yeah. Who has sent us many many a thing over the over the years. A very unusual sets of stuff. So. <laughs> ah, good. Is it that season? It's is that, that what it is? Time of year. It's that time of year again. If he's watching, he would have known this was coming too. Mm hmm Is there a it, I think it's the same. I think it's one of everything. Just no notes. Trefoils. 
Thin Mints, Tagalongs, Toffee Tastics, Dosi Dos, Samoas, Savannah Smiles, and S'mores! So they obviously, these people live in the same region, or at least a place served by the same bakery. Yeah, the same half same, county. Yeah, they're all the same, the same names. Well, thank you, Evelyn's. Don't, don't feel bad. <laughs> no, we, we we may have been like, hey, it's more. These are gonna disappear. Absolutely, they don't are. Don't you worry. These will get eaten and enjoyed, and we're, we're gonna enjoy all of this. This is really yeah. wonderful. Thank you. Holy moly. I, I'm I'm constantly and and forever wowed by the 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 generosity of everybody. You can't see what I'm feeling because I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> I feel like for the first time ever, I'm looking at your true face. <laughs> they only cared who I was when I put on the mask. <laughs> I'm gonna go fill up my premium zippered gamer pouch with some Thin Mints and record a podcast. Mm. Thanks for joining us on Mail Time. Please do. Check it out next time and um, keep on keep on being your awesome selves. Later. <laughs>